Joining me on Kingdom Builder TV is the director of the brand new film that comes out this weekend called Sight. And I'm pleased to welcome back director Andrew Hyatt to the program. Andrew, how are you doing today, man? Doing awesome. It's awesome to be back on here. So thanks for having me. Well, I'm so glad to have you back on the show. And, you know, I remember having you join me last year when we talked about your previous film, The Blind, uh, the true life film about Phil and Kay Robertson of Duck Dynasty fame. Um, but you have a new film that we kind of touched on a little bit uh, back then that you were working on getting out. Uh, the movie's called Sight, comes out this weekend. Can you take a moment to tell us about this incredible new film of yours? Yeah, I, I appreciate it. And by the way, let me just say, I'm so glad The Blind came out before Sight and not a reverse because that could get real confusing. So, <laughs> uh, no, Sight, Sight, I'm really excited about this weekend coming out theatrically uh, around the country. And this is the true story of Dr. Ming Wang, um, Chinese immigrant who survived the um, the Cultural Revolution in China, got to America you know, very classic kind of immigrant story, 50 bucks in his pocket kind of thing, and ends up becoming, um, you know, the world's most famous eye surgeon, ends up, you know, kind of creating, you know, a, a lot of the processes we know now that have helped millions and millions of people see. And um, it's a really inspiring, really uh, a truthful, wonderful journey of, of how this all went down. And I'm just really excited for people to see it. I think it's going to bring a lot of... Um, inspiration to people. No, I agree. And I got a chance to watch a screening of it and it's a phenomenal film. And I know that the film actually uh, takes place in a couple different times. You know, it goes back into the 1960s and it goes into now and kind of tells his story from back then and now. And, you know, I, I know that we touched a little bit about, you know, the equally amazing film, The Blind from last year, but, uh, you know, I remember about you telling me about this film that was coming out. And so, you know, I'll ask you the same question I asked you about the blind. Uh, how did Dr. Wang's story end up in your director's chair to be made into a film? Mm -hmm. um, great question. So uh, uh, um, the producer, David Fisher, um, had seen Paul Apostle Christ that I had done and, and really appreciated as well as uh, Dr. Wang himself. And so I, I was certainly on the list somewhere. Um, but this is this is a unique one, and I know it's it's very confusing by my complexion. But my grandmother actually grew up in Shanghai. Um, uh, her and her sisters were uh, I, Iraqi. They, uh, she was born in Baghdad. They were Iraqi Jews that immigrated into uh, Shanghai um, uh, in the in the 30s, and um, they were there up until you know the beginning of World War II. So. Um, that that culture that element was always growing up you know they they eventually made their way to america as well but was it was always really present in in their home and in my mother's home and so whenever we would visit and all that there was all this sort of very unique cultural stuff going on and i always thought their story was fascinating but i thought hey you know nobody's gonna uh uh pick the white guy to tell the the, <laughs> the chinese immigrant story um, so, but, but, you know, through, through, through Paul and, and a couple other things that they had seen, we, they got in touch, um, through one of the producers, Darren Mormon. And, and, and again, like I said, it was, it was one of those things when they, they were telling me the story, I just had this connection to Ming's story in a very unique way. And so it was like, yeah, I'm in, you know, what, how, how do we do this and, and what are we going to do? So, um, I was pretty honored and humbled to be considered for it. Yeah, and this film's story, as mentioned, takes place in a, diff a couple different places. It takes place in China, the United States, and India. And, you know, you work with some amazing, you know, talent in this movie. You've got, you know, Indian and Asian actors, including Terry Chen, who plays Dr. Wang in the film, as well as Ben Wang, Danny Wang, and a talented actress and newcomer Mia Swami Nathan. Um, what was it like as an American director directing you know the foreign language aspects of this film because i know when people go see it they'll notice that the, there is subtitles there is you know right. uh, different languages being spoken as a director from the states you know what was that like directing you know the, the different languages on set yeah <clears throat> great question no it was it was a very unique process uh that that was a very quick learning curve um we basically had you know the the actors themselves are phenomenal. Everyone you mentioned um, 
they, they, they're so, so good. So we were very blessed with that talent. And essentially, you know, we had an interpreter on set, um, a Mandarin speaking interpreter on set. And they were all so familiar with the language that it was, it, you know, I don't want to say it was simple for them, but they, they were such kind of amazing performers that they knew how to get the performance out of, you know, whether it's English or Mandarin. And, and so, but for me, you're right, kind of sitting there, it was a unique experience because I'm used to, you know, okay, I'm watching the performance, I'm hearing it, I know, okay, maybe we ship that, maybe we do this. But I have to be honest with you, I, yeah, I, I had to look, you know, many times at Dr. Wang, who was over in his chair <laughs> behind me and kind of, is did we do it? Is it good? You know? And I had to kind of lean into him and the interpreter and say, did we, did we capture the, the nuance? Did we do it right? Um, but the, the, the performers, the actors were so good that it was, um, I mean, nine times out of 10, they just nailed it. So it was, it made it easy for me. And, and it's amazing, you know, and, and I think the audience will feel this way when they see the film, how quickly you kind of, you know, your ear, yes, there's some subtitles in the film, but your ear kind of attunes to the, to the emotion of it, the yeah. drama, right? And so I kind of just put myself in that. I was like, okay, I don't understand. I, I understand a few words, don't know everything they're saying. You know, I've got it in my script, right? The the interpretation. But after a while, you just kind of say, you know what? I'm just going to sit back and, and am I emotionally moved by this moment? And I think, you know, you've seen the film. I think some of those scenes in the past with some of those actors, you know, I think of like, you know, Donald Hang, who plays the father, and and Ben Wang, who plays Ming at, at the teenage, and some of their scenes together where you're just like, you know, you could almost forget the subtitles. You're just so drawn into the emotion of the two of them in those, you know, those scenes that you're like, okay, yeah, you know. So I yes, long way to get to the end of your question, which is um unique experience, but they were so good. It was what a joy. That's awesome. And you know, you you mentioned, you know, allowing the performance to kind of speak for itself, allowing the motion, the emotions to you know, capture your attention. That's exactly how I felt when I watched movies, you know, when I watched Passion of the Christ years ago. I mean, the, the whole movie is in Aramaic and Hebrew, yet if I wasn't understanding or had subtitles there, I'm going by the emotions of the film. And sometimes that's sometimes that's the best way to invest yourself and your time in a film is by allowing just the visuals to kind of to kind of guide you. And I really like that about this film. And you know, another actor. Uh, that we've seen in a lot of the faith-based films over the years. Uh, one movie that he played in a couple of years ago that I really liked, same kind of different as me, uh, was the uh, venerable, amazing, and versatile actor Greg Kinnear. Um, what was it like working with Greg on this project? Yeah, no, Greg, we were very humbled and honored that he wanted to be a part of it. And he is as genuine a human being as he comes across on screen, which is awesome. <laughs> He's He's just a joy to work with and he's so professional and you know what was great about having greg around um because it, it, it is very heavy stuff at times you know it, ming's story goes into some tough places right it, it's it's yeah. dramatic and emotional and all these things having greg there i think for everybody on set and, and the other actors was such an anchor um because he has done so much and he has been in so many of these and he does have a genuine, just gr good heart. Um, you know, there's no ego there. There's no like, I'm, I'm Greg Kinnear. I'm, you know, which unfortunately sometimes you get you get those uh, those actors yeah. where it's it's all about me. This is about me. He he was just so genuine of his time, of his talents, and being able, I think, to be present in, in some of those scenes where maybe there were kids in the scene or people that weren't as experienced as he was. And he's just so patient and gentle in those moments. And so it, oh, it almost felt like I had a collaborator, another director on set, you know, in the scene that was like, oh, okay, I, I get what we're trying to do here. Let me, let me guide this in a certain way. Um, and I think he, him and Terry Chen were great collaborators and um, yeah, no, Greg's amazing. And I'm, I'm excited for the audience to see him in this role. Cause I think it's a, it's a great one for him. Yeah, and that was that was the same consensus that I had heard, you know, back when I'd done interviews for uh, same kind of different as me when he did that film. You know, the 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 film is based on a real life story, just like this one was. And uh, the guy who wrote the book that that was based on said that Greg was just as genuine off camera as he was on. So it's really cool to hear 
you know, stories like that, like the actors that you, you know, grew up seeing in films and stuff are in real life as they are, you know, when they're portrayed on film. So that's amazing. Yeah, agreed. agreed. Sight is uh, actually uh, one of seven films that you've directed over the years, including, as you mentioned, 2018's Paul, the Apostle of Christ, along with The Blind from last year. And, you know, people may be wondering, you know, what's next for you? Do you have anything else uh, in the works that that maybe you can share with us right now? Yeah, you know, I, there's a lot in the works. I, I think the most important thing that I'm looking at as a filmmaker right now is, um, I, you know, I've done some biopics and and true life stories, which I I, I think I think I have a I think I have an eye for that, and I think a, a genuinely, you know, following that, you know, blessing or whatever you want to call it of of being able to take these true life stories. And and you know somehow you know synthesize them into two hours, and and really just yeah. um, bring some truth and beauty through um, real life scenarios is really inspiring to me right now and really exciting. So I'm looking at a few of those, <clears throat> and then biblical stuff always right. <clears throat> I love I love um, touching into the biblical space. So uh, we're working on something pretty exciting in the in the Old Testament. Uh, hopefully I'll be back on here talking about it soon. Um, but, but I I'm fascinated with, with the old Testament and kind of this very game of Thrones, um, you know, last kingdom kind of vibe of what was going on with Samuel and Saul and David and all that. So, uh, we're working on something there we're, we're pretty excited about. So hopefully we can, we can bring that to you soon. That's awesome. Well, in closing, Andrew, uh, when people go to see the new film site this weekend, and theaters, what's the biggest thing that you want them to take away from it after they watch it and they leave? I I think, you know, it's it's almost changed over the last um, couple months for me of what I saw the film as and what I think I'm realizing is the possibility of it, you know, because for a long time I was like, you know, it's so inspiring <clears throat> watching Ming's story and 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 seeing what he's come from and how he's grown as a human and and all the amazing gifts and talents and what he did to change millions of people around the world but but i when i sit back and i i think you know we may not all have ming's story and past um but we all have a past right we all yeah. have something that that has shaped us and molded us you know whether that's traumatic or or dark or whatever god has moved through that in a way to shape us into who we are today. And I, I, I'm watching the film with this new lens and I think the audience will too, where you say, okay, I don't have Ming's story, but let me look at my own life and how can I go out and, and change the world? You know, how can I go inspire people? How can I go use my gifts and talents instead of focusing on all the bad things in my life and what's happened to me and, oh, what was me? I think the audience is going to look and watch what happened to me and say, okay, I kind of need to probably get over myself and what can I now go do to make the world a better place? So that's what I hope. I hope people it's relevant to their own life and not this like, Oh, what an amazing true biopic, right? I hope it's actually, I, I can have an amazing story too. I just got to put myself in, into these shoes. So uh, that's mm -hmm. my hope is that it inspires um, people, the relevancy in their own lives, if that makes sense. Amen. Yeah, well, I greatly appreciate you joining us. It's great to have you on here again. The movie's called Sight. It's out this week and make plans to go see it. Opening weekend is very important, especially for faith-based films. So letting people in Hollywood know that we want more films like this. So Andrew, thank you so much for joining us today. I greatly awesome. appreciate it and praying that God does big things with this film and uh, has a hand in the work that you got coming up, man. Awesome. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me on.